So our second call out so far today. Uh, we've just been to a guy who broke his ankle down at the skate park, park in the village that the ambulance couldn't get to. So we just helped, quick job there to help get into the ambulance. We're now heading off to a guy, an old guy, well, elderly gentleman, who's uh, reported as lost somewhere up above Jacob's Ladder. Might be stuck in a bog, peat bog, we're not sure. So we're just heading up there to see if we can find him first and then see what's up. Now, um, it's gone dark, uh, visibility's dropped as well and it's just getting a bit drizzly. So conditions are pretty poor, visibility's rubbish actually. Um, we know the guy, um, definitely his car is in the car park down in Edale. Um, Edale and Buxton teams are coming up from that side. Um, we're already on the top now, obviously. Um, we're just really struggling to, as to how we're going to find him. We know he's, he's, he does have a, tour, uh, a, a whistle, um, so we, I, I believe he's stayed put. Apparently he's fallen into a bog, um, he's pretty cold and wet. Um, and, he do, and he's completely lost, so he's going to stay put and just blow his whistle. But as of yet, we've got no sign of his whistle, so we're not really sure where he is. We're not even sure if we're, we're in exactly the right position um, to hear his whistle. We heard some reports from uh, a walker on the other side of the plateau who said they heard a whistle blowing. So we're going to concentrate on that area as well with another team. Um, so we'll see how we go, really. We're just going to push on now. <laughs> we search on for a couple more hours. It's now dark, cold, raining, and visibility's down to only a few metres. Our torch beams just bounce straight back off the fog so we can hardly see where we're going at all. Well, probably the easiest way. Uh -uh. Okay, let's do it. Just as we're about to start our next search pattern, a walker suddenly appears out of the mist. He's with his father and they've heard shouts for help. He then guides us back to the location where his father's waiting, and fortunately they have the man with them. Uh, is it <laughs> yeah. Hi, are you Dennis? Hello, Hi Dennis, we're in Mountain Rescue. Sorry mate. Go right. Just got the right man. Yes, you've got the right man. Yeah. No, we won't be doing that. Take your rucksack off. Yeah, I said that this morning actually that there'll probably be more people out today than there have been any other days because the weather's getting nicer. You need to take your hood down, it's caught in your hood. That's it. Got it. Yeah, thank you. There we go. Okay, cheers. Okay, Th thank you very much, guys. Sorry about that. It was a long truck yeah. across, the, uh, across the plateau. Right, I'm just going to grab some details, if that's alright, Dennis. Yeah, so it's, it's Dennis, is it? Yeah. Right, uh, we're back down now. Uh, slightly worse for wear. Absolutely covered in peat. Um, yeah, guy, good results. Uh, I, we, we thought for a while we were going to struggle to find that guy, but um, eventually we found him. Uh, he turned out to be, he was cold, tired, um, and completely lost, but um, a bit fortunate those two guys that we were going along the edge path picked him up. Um, we bumped into them. Uh, he, he was okay in the end. Um, uh, another party from Buxton came up from, uh, from Edel Valley. Um, they met him and they walked him back down. Um, so that's all good now. He's gone back down there. We got ourselves back towards, um, towards our end of the hill and we're now down in Hayfield. Um, back to where all our gear's drying out from uh, last night's uh, shout where we went to, to the floods. So that's today done. Um, it's now the day after Boxing Day. I can finally go back home. <laughs>